What's up guys, West Coast Picks here and I just finished opening up the package from Ryan McCreary and now I've got the package from Pick Me 1977. Uh, you all know Pick Me 1977, if you don't, uh, I suggest that you go over to his channel and start watching his videos, subscribe. Um, if you like what I do, you'll definitely like what he does and uh, he's a very awesome picker. Uh, super nice guy, and uh, just an all-around great fella. Um, probably better looking than me, too. So Just go on over there and uh, check out his channel. I'll put a link uh, in the description below. Just go on over there and uh, give him a subscribe. Give him a bunch of likes and watch his videos, because he works really hard, puts out a lot of wicked videos, and... Uh, he deserves your sub. So, let's uh, get this thing open. Again, I'm trying to recycle this box so I don't want to destroy it. Okay, we're going to open it. Let's dump it out. Awesome. box to use <laughs> and a bunch of awesome locks here I don't even know where to begin um, well let's begin with this one because it's wrapped up differently so has me intrigued the scary part is I have to pick one of these out of the package <laughs> uh, oh that would be the easy way out EC 75 30. Nice lock. Uh, does it have the key control pins? It looks like it does. Because those make it a little bit harder. It's a uh, 5 pin dimple lock. Avis dimple lock. These are really nice. I've picked a couple of those before. And I like them a lot. We have a very cool key on this one. This is a uh, death metal pinned by Pick Me 1977. So, very, uh, very fitting name for this lock, or at least for the key. It is a quick set. And this is one of the ones I sent him. So, pretty damn cool. Uh, can only imagine what that bidding looks like. <laughs> Maybe, hopefully, we'll find out. I don't know. Might be out of the package pick there. Because I'm very interested. And he told me to go ahead and look at some of these keys too. Like go ahead and unmoney them after. Uh, so I probably will. When I uh, start getting into these. This is another one I sent him. It's a quick set uh, rim cylinder. Pinned by Pick Me 1977. It's Stairway to the Naughty Bucket. Uh oh. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, that one's a little threatening. Um <laughs> it is only a quick set, but uh, and only a five pin. But knowing Pick Me 1977, he probably played with this thing until it was nasty, and uh, it might actually work its way to my naughty bucket. <laughs> so probably not out of the package pick for that one. That one's uh, probably give me a lot of trouble. We have Hook pinned by Pick Me 1977, which means I should probably use. A decent hook to get into this thing. And uh, I sent him these keys too, but I don't remember the kind of bidding I gave him. I know I gave him some with good bidding, but uh, he probably changed the bidding up anyway. And uh, this is a slag type kick cylinder. So that'll be a lot of fun to get into. Holy crap, this is an awesome key. Let me get this out of the package, guys. This is another one of the plugs there. The LSDA plugs, it is a slag type. But look at this key. That is just awesome. I don't know where he finds this stuff. That is wicked. It's heavy, too. That's a nice key. And uh, I can only imagine what the bidding looks like on that, too. And it's called Punisher Fitting, because the skull, right? It's Punisher, pinned by Pick Me 1977. So, awesome, awesome key. And probably a very awesome lock as well. 
Uh, a lot of this stuff scares me here. <laughs> uh, especially since I have to try picking one of these out of the package. And that's, uh, that's the scariest part. Is, uh, pick me. Well, he does make some easy locks. Uh, even his easy locks are hard. <laughs> Pin porn. Oh, okay. Pin by Pick Me 1977. So these are probably some pretty pins in here. They're probably very sexy pins in this lock. Uh, with a name like Pin Porn. Again, slag type. Um, he might have altered these biddings, I don't know, guys. But I do remember I sent him some pretty good biddings to begin with. So I'm not sure if he kept them the same. Or... We'll find out. We'll find out when we start getting into these. Oh, man. Uh, I got a lot of trouble here. <laughs> we have <laughs> twerking tension wrench. <laughs> okay. Pinned by Pick Me 1977. This is a uh, actual slag key. Uh, he's marked the front of it. So, you know, he's been working on this one. You could tell he's been working on it a bit because uh, he's been in and out of it many times to mark the uh, plug. So this one is probably not an easy one. He's probably been in and out and changed it around many times to make it uh, not easy. <laughs> or maybe it's twerking tension wrench because it gives good feedback and there's a lot of spools or something. I don't know. We'll, we'll find out when we actually get into it, if we actually get into it. Got a couple more here. Uh, this is... Uh, Boo-boos. Boo-Boo's Picnic Basket. <laughs> okay, Boo-Boo's Picnic Basket. Picnic Basket. Um, this is obviously a uh, Yogi the Bear reference. <laughs> so, uh, again, he's been in and out of this one a few times, enough that he had to mark it. And uh, the original key that I sent it to him with, but like I said, he's probably changed these biddings around. And if he hasn't, he's utilized every inch of those pins to give me a hard time, I'm sure. So, Boo Boo's Picnic Basket. Um, yeah, I'm still thinking this this death metal is the one I want to try out of the package. But oh, <laughs> okay. I see uh, Dora the Explorer here. This is probably a callback to my uh, my my old plug follower, which was uh, Dora the Explorer pencil. <laughs> Dora pinned by Pick Me 1977. Uh, it is a door set. A Dora, sorry. <laughs> it's the, uh... Yeah, it's been crossed out, and now it just says Dora. Come on. This light is a little a little blinding, guys. Sorry. Uh, yeah. Struggling to get good lighting, but still not uh, blind everybody with the glare. So this is Dora. Pinned by Pikmin 1977. It was probably a Dorma or something like that. And uh, he has obviously changed that out. Made in USA. That is probably an epic, epic lock. Um, I almost want to pick this one out of the package. Um, but I'll keep with my original idea. And I'm going to pick this death metal out of the package. I'm just going to get all these back in their respective bags. So I don't lose which key goes with what. I don't want to do that. I want to be able to open up the keys once I have picked the lock. So we'll keep them together. That's an awesome package there, Pick Me. Thank you so much. Pin porn. <laughs> Can't wait to see what's in that one anyway. Got some good names going on here. You he told me that. Uh, He's, uh, he gets a lot of window time at work like I do. Um, it's driving. And uh, he told me he's got a whole bunch of names already thought up. So these are some of them. <laughs> there are some pretty good names here. So uh, let's uh, let's try to embarrass myself here, guys. Already at nine minutes. Yeah, it's going to be another long video. But pretty much any package opening I do is going to be a long video. Because I you know, look through all the locks and then I pick one. So... Um, again, don't have all of my tools here. I got some. I uh, will take top of the keyway and this sort of hook here. 
And I don't... Come on, focus, man. This camera, I tell you, man. Sometimes the focus is dead on, and other times you can't get it to do... Can't get it to do it? All right. Let's give her a shot here. Oh. A little bit of a false set off of two. Not just, just sneaking my pick in there. So... Hopefully that wasn't an overset trap. That was five. Oh, really good fall set out of four. At least it felt like four. Sorry about that, guys. Phone rang again. Uh, <laughs> the unfortunate consequences of recording with your cell phone so I'm just gonna re reset it and because uh, as soon as the phone rang I had to let go of everything anyway so let's uh, let's get back at it here and see if I can see if I can get it sorry about that guys um, with uh, recording with your cell phone if somebody calls while you're recording that it just stops it just stops your recording it doesn't just I'd, I'd be okay if it just rang, <laughs> and uh, then I could say, "Oh, hey guys, the phone's ringing. Just ignore it for now. They'll they'll go away, and I'll call them back later or something." But I don't even have that option. Um, a bit of a false set here. The other thing I could do is I could turn the phone off, put it in airplane mode or whatever. But then I would catch. I would catch grief for that for sure. So I don't want to do that. I have uh, people in my life that assume the worst if they can't get a hold of me or if my phone's off or something like that. Okay, I got a good false set here. Oh, and we're open. It felt like. Uh, let's open this thing. So that was uh, quite a bit of fun. Um, see what's in here. Oh, yeah, I'm going to unmummy the key too. Yeah, might as well. Might as well start unmummying keys. The problem is I never remember when I sent them back out if they were mummied to begin with or if I should re-mummy them or whatever, but eh, it don't matter. Um, I think might be a T-pin in here, so let's grab a shim, throw it in there, there we go. Let's uh, unmummy this key first. Death metal. <laughs> yeah, there we go. There's a bidding. That's a pretty badass bidding there. I actually might copy that. <laughs> pretty cool key too. I like that. So, um, yeah, very extreme bidding. And uh, we'll see what's in here now. Knowing pick me, it's got some really well-made pins. Oh, what the hell is that? All right, we have some uh, definite uh, chamber enlargement there. We have a key pin, T pin in one. A serrated in two. A serration in three. Serration in four and a kind of like a spool serrated, probably, probably more like a spool in five. We have threading in wow, okay, even three, which is uh enlarged, is threaded down at the bottom. So we have threading in one, two, three, and five. Four is counter milled, very, very much counter milled, and uh. We'll get a close up of that after. Let's uh, 
Let's see if we can get out of here first. Up in the Bible. Out of death metal. Oh shit, look at the sharpness of that pin. Holy crap, that is a very sharp, almost looks like the tip of a flathead screwdriver. That is a sharp pin. And two springs. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, wow. He's been working on his pins for sure. This thing is insane. So super, super sharp spool at the end with uh, like an offset serration and a bunch of serrations up at the top. That is a cool pin as well. With a steel spring. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, this is a very nicely... Uh, it's like a candlestick, but it's got multiple uh, lumps on it. That is pretty awesome. And it's super sharp, too. So, that's pretty damn cool as well. got a spool that's like the most normal pin in this lock so far <laughs> and a nicely serrated pin like a barrel serrated double barrel serrated pin that's pretty cool all right and we have threading in Two and three and five. Two, three, and five are threaded. Up in the Bible. This is what Pick Me put in here. Now that is a badass lock with some sweet ass pins. There we go. So let's grab my tweezers here and we'll go over some of these pins. This one here, um, you might be able to make out the bottom. How it's got like a straight slot screwdriver on the bottom there. It's very, very sharp. Very, very sharp. Obviously meant to get in the way of the shear line, and it did. Uh, this is a almost like a potato masher, except for um, very, very sharp on the spool department. And an offset lump in the center of that spool, which is pretty damn cool. Uh, I bet you that changes every time that you pick the lock. It seems like it would. And this this monstrosity, this awesome piece of artwork, look at this thing. Um... I've made stuff like this before. I don't know what to call them. They're kind of spool, uh, kind of serrated, but they're very nice looking pin. Very nice looking pin. And a very sharp spool and a uh, double serrated barrel pin. And on the bottom we have a key pin, T-pin, a double serration, a single serration, a probably overset trap, as it looks like it's tapered on the top. And... Um, and I just dropped it. I will find that in a sec. And, uh, oh, there it is. So it's a spool with a tapered top. Probably meant to uh, be an overset trap. And then a uh, another spool, very sharp. And then, of course, our plug work, which is just phenomenal. Um, look at that. So every chamber has something done to it. We got threading in one and two, uh, and three. But three has also been uh, enlarged and widened. We have counter milling in four, and threading in five. So pretty badass, pretty badass lock here for death metal. And uh, yeah, thank you, Pick Me nineteen seventy seven, for sending this lock and all the other awesome locks. I will uh, look forward to getting at each and every one of those. And I'm uh, pretty sure there's some very hard ones in there. <laughs> and um, if you guys haven't already, go over to Pickney's channel and, uh, you know, watch his videos, subscribe, leave comments and stuff like that. Because uh, he is probably the most active picker here on YouTube. Uh, pretty much a video a day. And uh, he's a very good picker as well. And a funny guy and a great friend. So uh, make sure you go on, go on over there, uh, subscribe to his channel, comment on his videos. And uh, yeah. Be part of the community, guys. Anyway, uh, thanks again, Pick Me, for this lock and all the other ones. Thanks, everyone else, for watching. And later, guys.